This video addresses topics of an adult nature, so viewers discretion is advised. Norway's beach handball team was recently fined £1,300 for wearing shorts instead of bikini bottoms. Yeah, you're, watching, guy. You're, you're somebody that you're must dying. be watching. You're Scrap that. They're Panties, that's what they are. I mean, let's call a spade a spade, yeah? They're bikini panties. These women are refusing to wear bikini panties and they've just been fined £1,300 in the 21st century. The European Handball Federation said, actually, scrap that, yeah? The perverts who made these rules have said, justifying this, that it increases performance. Oh, well excuse me. Then what about the other sports in which having a streamlined body is very important? Does that now mean you're going to introduce bikinis to all sports? It's not halal fam. That women have to run around in their bikinis on a football pitch, on a basketball court, whilst playing tennis. And another question yeah, don't men need increased performances too? Because they get to wear vest tops and shorts. What about their performances? Isn't that important? So the European Handball Federation officials, aka the pervs, they go, oh it's uh, improper clothing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Since when did covering yourself become improper? But I know what you're thinking, they're saying in terms of their rules. Oh yes, the rules. The European Handball Federation says, I mean, just look at that picture. It tells you literally everything you need to know. Uh, the Federation says it's against the rules for them to change that outfit. Hang on a minute, who came up with these rules? You pervs did, yeah? So you pervs can change the rules as well. Ah, ah that's my dog! You know, it's just like you going in a full circle again. Who made the rules? We did, yeah? It goes against the rules, but we made the rules and we can change the rules. But it goes against the rules. Uh, what? Well, now you shut, shut it. Don't try that business with me, mate. And for argument's sake, if what you're saying is correct, and the uh, shorts that they're wearing doesn't indicate that they're cheating, number one, and number two, it's affecting their own performance, and they're cool with that. Let them do what they go do. Frankly, you know what I'm saying. Like, why is it your business? No, no, it's actually gonna affect your winning ability. But we're okay with that. No, no, no. You can't be okay with that. Comparing it to what the men wear, there seems to be such an obvious de decision, isn't there, that women's bodies are there to be looked at and to be displayed uh, and not just appreciated for the athleticism and the sport. Now, Muslims have long been saying that exposing yourself makes you more vulnerable to be taken advantage of because of your body. Yeah? People aren't going to be interested in what you've got to say. But whenever Muslims talk about this, mate, nah, 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 nah. It's the men that are the problem. You gotta keep your gaze low. As if they've got the self restraint of a Czech German shepherd, mate. But alhamdulillah, I'm glad that such fallacies weren't used in this situation. And it was also refreshing to see that Norway's own handball federation backed the women, saying stuff like, it should be free choice. Yes. We're proud of our girls. We stand by you. Yes. It seems a bit strange. Yeah, the Muslim women are gonna be like, whoa, this is quite amazing. Yeah, because they haven't used the word extremism, they haven't questioned their faith, and they haven't called it oppression. This is remarkable. Only if Muslim women could also be treated like this. <laughs> and this is why there was a very interesting article on the Independent, and it said the white women of the Norwegian handball team are finding out what the hijabi women knew all along. I was interested to see who's actually written this article and it's gotta be a half size isn't it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, which translates as young lioness. Now women's activists, feminists, yeah, whatever ists and ism and schism you're part of, they have a big problem, yeah, of God, Allah's objective rules for the benefit of the society and the individual. Nah, nah, nah. God's telling you what, what to do, mate. That's unacceptable. But when some random federation does, nah, it, it's, it's all right, mate. Yeah, they, but they're human beings telling you how to dress, and their thinking is limited. Yeah. So why would you trade somebody's thinking that's limited 
to somebody's thinking that's unlimited. And that's Allah. When He gives us rules, they are objective. When we come up with rules, let's face it, they have a bias of being subjective. Yeah, of each individual situation. We have the pixel, so our rules reflect the pixels. Allah's rules reflect the picture because that's what Allah has the full picture. And I mean, we're living here in the West and you can see school girls when they go, they're wearing mini skirts to school and the schools are enforcing the, the wearing of skirts for girls and they're proper policing what they wear. It's messed up. And even when you see them going out, about, out and about, of course the inappropriate dressing and that's not forgetting the men as well. Yeah, the men have a hijab from their navel to their knees. Yeah, that's the bit that should be covered. Let's not forget the hadith that tells us about the day of judgment. One of the signs of the day of judgment is that people will be naked but they will be clothed and the bikini fits that description really well. So guys, let's not become part of this and as males also watching, looking after your gaze is very important. It's something that we've been told in the Quran and yes, I know it's very difficult and if that's a problem that you and I suffer with, then it's important that we know it down and then we seek help. We speak to our practicing friends or their local Imam and get advice, even search it up. How do people? Yeah, there's a lot of videos, you know, encouraging people to come uh, off the habit of watching pornography and the like. So yeah, watch these videos where they give tips and tricks on how to get off this stuff because it is very detrimental in the long run. Guys, much respect to the women that despite the heat, they're covering up. Yeah, even if they're warm hair, they know that the heat and the warmth of the hellfire is gonna be even warmer. Let's leave it there guys. Much love and respect to people showing res restraint during this weather. Until next time, <laughs> Assalamu Alaikum.